All right, you guys looking for something to do this weekend? Always. Always. How about learning a new fall dessert recipe from the pros, all while supporting a great cause? Isn't this great? We're talking about our pals Sarah Kiefer and Zoe Francois. So they're hosting this baking class. It's coming up on Sunday. You don't even have to leave home to participate. That means you can wear stretchy pants and slippers. Ladies, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank nice you. How are you? you? Great to see you. Okay, listen, you two are total pros. Um, you know I've learned like half of, at least half of the things that I know about baking from the two of you, from being in both of your kitchens and following you and all this stuff. So what is the goal of this event? And you and you guys have been teaming up on things for a long time. Yeah, yeah well, one, we love to bake together. So that was a great excuse yeah, we to always get try together. To find an excuse. Yeah, um, but also, we're both bakers. We like to feed people. Um, there's a lot of need out in the world right now yeah. with all the natural disasters and humanitarian crisis that are going on. We can't be there, but we can use our skill to teach people how to bake and raise money at the same time. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> That's it. Well, <laughs> that. yeah, well, and the best part about it, too, is like you can really just be in your own home. Like yep. you were saying, you can be in your own kitchen, you can be in your own couch, you can you can join this great event all just while streaming from your own house. If, so if you can't make it That's to right. where you guys are at, you guys can, yeah. people can just be at home. So you're going to be in the Lynn Hall in Minneapolis. This is yes. coming up on Sunday, Sarah. What are you baking? What are you going to be teaching people to make? And then are there still tickets available to go to see you at the Lynn Hall? There are still tickets available. So if you want to come see us live, please do. And they have such an amazing space. They, and they do. have like it's a so TV beautiful. studio mm -hmm. in there, which is yeah. so cool. Yeah, we love it there. Okay, so what do people um, get to experience? Um, I'm making chocolate chip, or they're double chocolate chip cookies. So they're half and half. And mm. it's a recipe of mine that I love that I've streamlined. So you only have to use one bowl. Oh. And I'm going to go through all my cookie tips and tricks. Well, you better start loading. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Please, yeah. Please, please, please. Yeah. Some of those. I did right. just Thank you. bake these before yeah. I came. You are amazing. So For everybody, we can share cookies. So okay. what yes. is the process Thank of actually you. just You're using welcome. one bowl? How does that all get like Frankenstein in together? So, <laughs> right. So I make two different batches, and then um, I just use the same bowl since it's basically the same ingredients, mm -hmm. but one has cocoa powder. And I use melted butter so that I can just pour everything in That's and mix. Fantastic. And then you have to come to the class to learn the rest. Yeah, the rest. Oh. I'm not going to give away too much. <laughs> oh my gosh, Sarah. That is a tease. That is so <laughs> Every cookie I've ever eaten that Sarah gives me, oh, this I is know. what I do. I'm like, oh, I yes. love you so much. <laughs> um, I also, so when I look in Sarah's fridge, she has more butter than anyone I've ever seen. I, and I do open the fridge when I come over. I do have butter anxiety. <laughs> like I have nervous. to have what at least mean? four pounds of butter in my yeah. fridge or I feel like there I might run out. Because yeah. oh I'm making all the time. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I mean I know people like that with their gas in their cars. Yeah, They're like, oh I can't I can't go below a half a tank. It's butter and But eggs. you you yeah, like are like eggs. that with butter. Yeah. Flour sugar. So yeah. good. Yeah. Okay, and then so you're gonna teach everybody how to make this basque. Yes, cheesecake. fast cheesecake. Uh, not one, well, I guess it is one bowl, but it's in a stand mixer. Um, I am using roasted pumpkin. We oh, just came yeah. off of Halloween, so I figure people have pumpkins. You want to use a sugar or pie pumpkin for this, not your jack-o'-lantern, which okay. is nice. like water, 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 no taste. Okay. Roast them so they get really sweet and delicious. And then we're going to mix that with a bunch of cheesecake. This is um, can be made gluten-free. It has no crust. So it is yeah. actually really easy. You just mix it up, pour it in, and you bake it really hot. And then you get this like mahogany caramel color yeah, you see this crust on the, top. on the top of it. Yeah. Um, and it's just absolutely one of my favorite desserts. And I made it with pumpkin because tis the season for all the pumpkins. So yeah. beautiful. You're going to want this on Thanksgiving. Yeah, well, look, <laughs> if you guys would just come over and cook for us, that would be great. I would probably enjoy Thanksgiving so much more. You'll see, it's so easy. You're going to want to bake it. It could be your signature dessert. Wouldn't that be Ooh, cool to have? Yes. Yeah, that's like a thing that you're known for. Your mind. Okay, we got some great questions for you ladies on Facebook. Um, what is your favorite holiday dessert? Oh, oh, like the number one thing. Do you have one? I... Like, I want to say pumpkin pie, but it's really this triple chocolate mousse cake mm. that I make. Awesome. has a cookie crust, mm. mousse, mascarpone, whipped cream. Wow. Wow. I could just that say sounds that. Where incredible. is that recipe? Yeah. Is that on your blog? I do have it on yeah, my blog. Yeah, that's on Vanilla incredible. Bean Baking Blog, yes. everybody. Okay. I just want chocolate. I don't really yeah, care about that's it. that's amazing. <laughs> Mine is a little bit like the flavor combinations are a little more traditional. So I do a caramel apple 
and pumpkin pie. They're like layered together. Oh, yes. Wow. So that you get it all together in one situation. Um, and then this uh, pumpkin uh, cheesecake is, is it? now. It's I love pumpkin, and it, it's such a short season yeah. for us that I want to use it as much as possible. Oh, this is good. Yeah, see, I've been advocating for pumpkin year-round. I mean, we have yep. watermelon year-round, but, you know, we can have pumpkin <laughs> year-round. Uh, right, okay, I want to pick one. Yeah, pick okay. one. I got a sheet. <laughs> Yay! Lord All right, so up. we did the favorite holidays. How about this one? The biggest Thanksgiving flop. <gasps> Oh, oh you guys, this was probably like like 30 years ago, and like you guys have never flopped anything since. Oh, I yeah. know. Yeah. I underbaked a pumpkin pie, and it just oh. like no. leaked. Oh, yeah. It was and bad. My family ate it. Everyone was like, oh, this is really good. You just see, in that situation, you just change the name, and yeah. you call it custard. Yeah. Or pudding. Sure, right. yeah. Right. Yeah. Pudding with a crust. My flops come in the savory arena, because really, if it doesn't have sugar in it, it's not a sure dunk for me. <laughs> so I um, I have learned to order my turkeys from Animales. Oh, yes. Yep. John Whipley. Yeah, John they Harry. are so wonderful. Yeah, he does a beautiful turkey, and I do not. So... Okay, that might need to be your yeah, move. Yeah, yeah. I, I've, <laughs> got, I, I've, got his, I've got his digits. Yeah, yeah. I, I might be doing yeah. that. That's a good yeah. idea. Okay, um, here's another one. Favorite cookie to eat. Not your favorite oh. cookie to bake, your favorite cookie to eat. Yeah. Sarah's like the cookie queen. Yeah. I think just straight up chocolate chip. Mm -hmm. Like, because it's just classic and so good, and it's not too rich. Like, you can determine how much chocolate is in it. You have that, yeah. like, soft-baked chocolate chip cookie recipe in that book that we just showed. Yeah. And I make those for my kids. And they say, because sometimes I try to sneak in things like, coconut sugar and you know <laughs> garbanzo bean flour and then my no. kids are like wow thanks yeah, and then when gee, i mom. made those for the first time for them they That's were like amazing. mom these are the best cookies in the world and your pan banging cookies are the ones that went viral they've been in yeah. the new york times but it's like a soft baked cookie in that i can't remember the page number but it's i think it's the first recipe in there and that's really? my kids favorite oh, recipe really? too that's the one they want is just the really soft the picture they is last, the jar yeah they last for several days because they just stay so soft you can leave them oh my gosh yeah. okay zoe favorite mine's cookie? controversial mine is a rum raisin oatmeal cookie oh my gosh so you like soak the raisins in rum yeah so one they don't get all dried out and hard when they're baked but then they also have rum in them this is like your closeted, like 100 year old European self is in there, like inside your soul. The 100 year old is not that far. And he's like, I want that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, you we guys have, are the best. We have a lot more to get to, but we were running out of time, you guys. You just have to come back. We would love We'd to. We'd love to. These yeah. are Absolutely. delicious. I know. Those and are wonderful. And people can come to our class and ask all these questions. Too. Yes. We would love that. Yeah. Buy well, we, we do have a sourdough question that we didn't have time to get to that I, you guys could just do like a whole podcast about. You <laughs> all know? the things, yeah. Uh -huh. All the things. All right, we have more information about the Bake a Difference fundraiser on TwinCitiesLive.com. You can still go to the Lynn Hall, or you can just mm -hmm. uh, log on online. Next up, it is time to talk holiday shopping. TCL reporter Kristen Hobrick is live at the Minneapolis Gift and Art Expo. Oh, she's like a little Santa. She's got the hat out and everything. <laughs> Hi, Kristen. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> you know it, guys. Christmas is coming. And coming up, I'm going to take you on the ultimate Christmas shopping spree. You'll find it all under one roof right here at the Minneapolis Convention Center going on all weekend long. Guys, don't you love the neutrals for Christmas? Oh, yeah. I'm like really it. loving this boutique. It's so chic. It's so chic and so modern looking. I like it. Thanks, Kristen. All right, let's go over to Paul Folger. He's got to look at what's going on at Five at Witness News. And oh. we have cookies. Paul, are you going to come over here and Guys. fangirl over Zoe? Because I know you. She's know. your top celebrity. I know. Every single time. I'm, I'm like on a he's, sugar high. He's and now you've got Sarah and Zoe. I know. I know. I mean, it's the best. I know. He's going to walk in here, girls. He oh won't even gosh. be able to talk in front of you. He'll I know. So I nervous. love them. They're both so amazing. <laughs> so hey, guys, we've got a lot coming up. Today marks 25 years since Jesse Ventura shocked the world, winning the election to become Minnesota's 38th governor. Tom Hauser gives us a look back to 1998 and how his historic victory is still having a ripple effect in politics today. Plus, did you know there are more crashes involving cars and deer after daylight saving time ends in the fall? Well, how a new study is working to cut down on these crashes. All of that and more on 5 Eyewitness News. Stay with us. More Twin Cities Live just after the break.